So I was building up my um, new little mini hex. Basically, it's based off the RC Timer Argonaut X6370. I've downsized this one to be a 330 because I'm only going to use it with 5 inch props. And then I started looking into uh, the mixer editor settings for the KK 2.1 because that's what I'll be using on this because it's not a, a standard hex frame. It's, uh, you need to alter the physics for the KK 2.1 so that it adjusts for the different arm angles. And I've spent a bit of time researching this on the internet and on some YouTube videos and they're all a bit... some of them are quite good but I just thought I'd try and simplify it down a bit. So there's a few concepts to understand that 0 degrees, 90 degrees 180, 270, 360. So when you're adding your um, angles for the arms, you need to use the whole 360 degrees. Center of gravity, everything is measured from the center of gravity, the angles for the arms and the length of the arms. So for example, this arm, as you can see, it's just a little bit over 45 degrees. It's actually 52 and 180 long. This one is actually a little bit shorter, 175 and 103 degrees, and so on around the, the frame. And then what you do is you punch those values into a spreadsheet, and you come out with these aileron elevator settings to put into the KK2, into your mix editor. So remembering that aileron, which is roll basically, minus, plus, elevator, tilt, forward is plus, reverse or back minus. So your numbers should match up so that your aileron's plus down here and your elevator's minus and so on around the the quad, minus minus in this quadrant. So for example, motor 4 is in the minus minus quadrant. So if you look across motor 4 here, minus 88 for elevator, minus 41 for aileron. Motor 2, which is in the third quadrant, which is minus plus. So you've got minus 88 for elevator, sorry, 2, minus 22 for elevator and 95 for aileron which is ailerons in the in the positive so if those numbers aren't giving you plus and minuses as related to the quadrant they're in then you know you've got the calculation not quite right so the kk2 point or 2 2.1 2.1.5 2 motor 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, clockwise, counterclockwise, etc. There's a specific formula you need to use that is in this Excel spreadsheet. So I'll put a link to the spreadsheet and I'll actually put a photo of this up there as well, which should give you your mixer editors so that it flies really well in this configuration. So here is an example of the default settings for a hexacopter. Channel 1. Aileron 50 and elevator 87. Oops, sorry, go back to channel 2. Aileron 100, elevator 0. So that's the one that's going straight out to the right, therefore elevator 0 and aileron's 100, which is full. So that makes sense. Three fifty minus eighty seven to the bottom right quadrant four minus fifty eighty seven five one hundred minus one hundred and zero one out to the left so elevator zero again 
and 6. Minus 50 and 87. So that's an example of a, a stock standard without any change to the mixer editor on the KK2.1 hard case. Actually, this one is. It's plugged into my, my hexacopter. So if we were to adjust it, I'll now adjust it to off screen. I'll now adjust it to the new settings for the for the uh, the mini hex and show you how that presents on the KK. So this is the default motor layout, and this is what it looks like with no changes to the mixer editor. And there's the motor layout after I've altered the mix editor and changed it to the settings in the spreadsheet. And as you can see, it looks just like the actual layout of the mini hex. So that's a cool feature of the KK2.1. Um, I highly recommend using this controller. I just love it. Anyway, there you go. That's about it. My daughter's handiwork, graffitiing my beautiful piece of art. Thanks for watching.